Hey guys, how you doing? So, this is just going to be a very quick unscripted video that I'm doing just to demo a new feature that I've added and I think it's noteworthy. So, to begin with, I have received some questions about this application regarding open vehicle diagnostics and, to put it bluntly, no, this application will never let you do SCN coding, which is essentially modifying features on various ECUs, so like enabling X, Y, and Z if you want. That's partly down to legal constraints, because I don't want to get involved with accidentally adding something which various companies might deem their intellectual property to the application, so I'm not going down that route ever, okay? Now, what's the new feature? Well, first of all, I think it's worth noting that I should show you my setup. So, when I've been testing the application, I have been testing it on this setup down here. Here is my Machina M2 adapter that I have with my custom pass-through driver on it. That is connected to an ODB2 port, which again is provided by Machina here. Um, there is some wires which go to a breadboard over here, which then essentially hooks up the K-Line and CAN interfaces on the adapter. That then breaks out and we've got an instrument cluster over here from a W203 Mercedes. There is a CDI ECU down here at the bottom from a W211 Mercedes and there is also a 722.6 transmission controller buried under here, which is from a C uh, W203. With that said, I think it's now time to show. So, if I run OVD now, and I will quickly switch over to this stream so you can see both at the same time, launch it, I'll toggle the view to darkness, and let's go. So, diagnostic scanner, this page has been changed slightly, but we go to manual and load up a save file. Oh, you can't see that. One second. Why is OBS so strange? But I can select my JSON file from here. This is normal, so I can select that one and communicate with the engine ECU. Now, what's different is that there is this new session type called a JSON session. If I open this up and select a custom JSON file for that ECU and run that, now OVD has a lot more information than it used to have about said ECU. It now knows that the ECU is CRD or CRD.common rail Delphi. It knows the variant, the software version running on that, CRD Diag 87H, and it knows the vendor of the ECU is Delphi. Okay, cool. Let's read some errors and see if I can get some descriptions out of them. So if I read errors, now we see the error codes as I did in my previous video, but also now a very good description of what the errors mean. This is being derived from Daimler's CVF file format, which is essentially just a database of how to talk to an ECU, which is derived from an ODX file, if you know what those are. I can then clear the errors as normal, okay, and read them again. Obviously, these errors will keep coming back because the ECU is physically not plugged into an engine, so it's very unhappy. For how I'm generating this JSON data, for now, I've written a custom program which passes Daimler CBF file format uh, files and will derive them into or convert them into a JSON format which I'm defining. I will put the specification link on GitHub eventually once I've finished finalizing it because currently it only contains trouble codes and not a list of functions which can be run on the ECU to like test various components on it. So currently you simply run it by specifying an input CBF file name. So I've got one here for that ECU that I have down here. If I run this, it will go ahead and extract all the data from it. There we go. And it tells me the output file is crd.json. If we now have a look at that in an editor, it's, it's quite a big file with just the error code. So it currently contains the ECU code name and the description of the ECU. This is all coming from the CBF files. Um, followed by the variant, which it is, and the description of each variant, as well as the vendor ID, which is what my program uses to essentially work out what ECU is communicating with currently, and a list of all the error codes present on the ECU, as well as a description of what they are. Now, it should be noted that because it's deriving data from CBF files, other ones are unfortunately in German. That will be hopefully fixed later on when I hook up a translator to this so that it can translate all the strings present within the file to English prior or a language that you want prior to uh, processing the output file. But yeah, that's basically all I wanted to share with you guys today. Hope you enjoyed that and be sure to share and subscribe if you like that and I'll see you in the next one.
Goodbye.